Hi everyone. How we doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Oops. I always forget to mute that over there. Oh, uh, hey, what's up, Join? How's it going? Um, I uh, am really happy to be here. I'm very tired. Um, my wife and I had kind of like a late night. La <laughs> I love that. At 7 p.m., it just turned to the nighttime filter again. Uh, we had kind of a late night. Um, so I kind of went through today really tired. But we're chilling now, baby. It's all good. We're just playing some platinum. We're going to get into some really important stuff in the story. So I'm really excited about that. Little team recap. We haven't... Uh, we haven't been to Platinum in a while. Today's been, this week's been a weird week. We of course have Autumn the Torterra with Earthquake, Leech Seed, Mega Drain, and Razor Leaf. We have Breakfast the Togekiss, who is starting to get better. Pikachu the Vaporeon, we love to see them. We have Karen the Houndoom, of course. We have Hot to Go the Toxicroak. Um, and then, hold on mom, I will show you in a second. Um, and then we have good old Static, the Magnazone. Toxicroak is kind of going to become our HM friend. Um, oh, ignore that. I see, I see. Um, Toxicroak's going to kind of become our HM friend. Don't worry. When we get to the Pokemon League, I will amend its moveset a little bit. But for some of these portions of the game, you just really need to teach some HMs. Um... And there's Autumn's moveset again. I can't decide what I want to do with him. My thought is maybe get rid of Mega Drain when it's time to learn Crunch. That's my general thought. And keep Leech Seed. Or I could get rid of Leech Seed and keep Mega Drain. I would like to keep one of those Drain moves. But maybe it's good to keep the uh, one where we're going to be... That can benefit our whole team. All right. Uh, I don't like the bike music that much. Okay, so now it is time to chase Team Galactic into Mount Coronet. And now that we have a lot of the HMs that we need um, to be able to do so, we want to enter there um, north of Orberg City. And that's really going to be our best spot to get to the Team Galactic stuff. And I'm going to surf across there because that little staircase up there, that is what we need to get to to get to um, Team Galactic. But here, this is one of the toughest parts of Generation 4 and Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is that you really have to carry a lot of HMs on your team because there are just a lot of times where you want to have your full complement of Pokemon when you have to use these HMs in the story. So as you can see, my Toxicroak is kind of the one that's going to bear the brunt of that in this playthrough. Um, they're going to be the one that helps us climb up this, uh, those rocks and get to this ladder to help us get to Team Galactic. And the time is now. Alrighty. Um, so yes, we're starting with Autumn. This is kind of like a big room here. Um, oh, another Max Repel. I'll just use that again. Um, we... It's kind of a twisty, turny little way. Um, also, how, how are you doing, Mom? How are you doing, Join? Um, how's everybody doing that's watching? Um, okay. I remember this room specifically kind of like looking in the guidebook um, for Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, because I had it, of course. Um, it always looked really intimidating because it was really big. Um, and it has kind of like a lot of winding paths, but really it's very linear for the most part. Um, let's see. Yes, I want to go this way. Uh, the only thing that isn't as linear is trying to find all of the items. Oh, and this is nice. Um, now that we can use Rock Climb, 
we can pop out here at this place north of Orberg City where we went in to get to King Galactic um, into Mount Coronet, and we can pick up some of these items out here. We've got ourselves an iron. Um, all right. Oh, a great day to live in Cincinnati. You don't say. I'm an Ohioan myself. I am in Columbus, or the Columbus area. Um... Great, I can use my repels. Ooh, that's a satisfying noise right there. I love that. Um, oh, Bengals or Browns? Uh, big sigh join because I'm a Browns fan. It is not a good time. Not a good time for us right now. Ooh, Rock Slide, that could potentially be useful. Let's uh, see what can learn that soon. You're a Bengals person, I take it? I wish. I wish I was. But alas. This is my this is my cross to bear. Um, for those of you that don't follow American football, the Cleveland Browns, my the team that I support, is having a horrible season, and they employ a horrible quarterback who's done horrible things. <laughs> And he's also bad at playing, so that's another uh, thing. He did hurt. He did get hurt this year, um, which a lot of people were happy about. And I, I mean, I was happy about too, but I still feel bad. Um, that's just my bleeding heart. Anyway, as you can see, Looker's stopping us here. He says, "Observe, if you will, that hole." <laughs> there was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit, but the wall is no longer there. It lies in pieces. Do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the Lakes had been captured, captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly? I do not know. There is but one cause, Team Galactic Cyrus, and now we are all caught up. Now to the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me, if you will. Um, so, as Looker is explaining to us, Team Galactic is up toward the summit of Mount Coronet, and look, Looker gives us the Black Flute here. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yes! Um... Wild Pokemon will be repelled. How about that? Um, so this little cave painting here, I was always kind of confused by it when I first played this game because I only ever went to this part after it had already been broken apart. But if you go to this area before kind of like the Team Galactic story stuff happens, but after you get Rock Climb... You can make it to this point, but you will be stopped at this little spot where that cave painting is. But now that it's been broken apart, we can continue through our story. Alrighty, kids. Um, so here we are in Mount Coronet. We are going to be encountering Team Galactic goons here pretty soon. Alrighty. Um... We have kind of a lot of short corridors here. I might be tapping for some items to see if we can find them. <laughs> so scared of rocks. There are so many rocks, Brody. Um, so I'm going through here. This isn't the way we need to go, but there should be an item here. Yes, a star piece. Hello. It's a free 4,900 bucks, which I love. Um... <laughs> Um, all right, there's our first galactic grunt. Let's uh, let's destroy this fool. Um, but today was a pretty good day. I was able to do some uh, stuff at work that I haven't been able to do in a while. Excuse me. Wow. Um, so work was kind of tough today, but it was good. Um, it was solid. We're gonna try to keep things going um, with some of our kids that are having some issues, but you know. Um, I hope everybody has some delicious weekend plans. I'm supposed to hang out with a with a friend of mine, which I'm very excited about. Oh, draw any Pokemon from memory. Brody, I will do that. Just tell me which one. Let me get static in here. Let's see, just hit that discharge. Yeah, I don't want to use too many of those earthquakes on Torterra. Maybe I will just... I'll get... Um, blue hot to go. 
Hot to go, I think, is about to learn a new move, which makes me happy. Ooh, if I'm not mistaken, this is about to be some of my favorite music in the whole game. Ooh. Yes. Mmm. The outside Mount Coronet music is just... It's mystique, baby. Oh, man. I love this. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, draw Flaffy. You got it, buddy. And we have this uh, great music to... Uh, keep us company while I do it. Let me... I got a pencil over here. All right. So I'm drawing Flaffy from memory. All right, my Togetic's not that bad. Um, um, I think Flaffy has kind of like a little snout, right? Um... I'm almost positive it has kind of like that scenario happening. Um, um, Uh, does Flaffy... I think Flaffy does have a tail, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a... It has kind of like an orb at the end. Something like that. Wow, it is so crazy how poorly I remember Pokemon. This looks like a poodle. This is really bad, actually. There's Flaffy. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. You can see my zigzagoon on the other side of this paper, but there's Flaffy. What do we think of that? Hold on, let me, let me think. Let me look at a picture of Flaffy. <laughs> I know I'm not a great artist. Hold on, let me look at a picture of Flaffy. Um. I don't know why I just reach for my phone when my computer is right there. But alas, I'm doing it. Oh, okay. So I got a lot, oh, the ears, I'm missing the ears. Kind of like the, okay, yeah. All right, I had a lot of the stuff going. I thought it had some like tufts of whatever on its like feet. I don't mind the effort. I don't mind the effort. Okay, you need a 10 second song. Um, well, let me grab my guitar. Um, let's see. Brody wanted a song, but he loves to talk me draw. He loves to see me draw, that's what I meant to say. And Brody is a guy that I love. <laughs> but he doesn't love my drawings. He almost always says they're horrifying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'll record that. Anyway, after that, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, that's, that, that's, that's not what I mean. Um, I just love having you around in the old chat. Um, let's see. So we're here on the outside of Mount Coronet. Um, and there are a lot of items and junk out here, um, and a lot of stuff we can do. Like, there's a rock climb right there, but we can also go around the bend, and I'm wrong about that, actually. 
Um, so yes, you need this rock climb here to progress. I kind of couldn't really see. It was a little bit... It's just very, very white. Um, excuse me. You can use strength to kind of get around this area. Ooh. Babo. And then this is kind of where the music loops back. There we go. I knew there was an item in there. Um, ooh. I was about to say, that's even with a repel. Might have to get Magnazone in the front then. Okay. Um, Alright, I think... Yeah, you're going to see me go item hunting here and there. Um, yeah, because there are other areas you can go into. Um, yeah. I mean, that's me, Brody, honestly. That's a good descriptor of me. Um, ah, uh, yes, up here is a stone that has some item. I don't know what it is. Um, there we go. Star piece. I knew there was a reason I came up here. I love that we're getting so much of this music. This is, this is like one of the fire tracks in this game. And yes, here's just another item. Um, as I predicted here. Yes. I think behind this rock. Oh, a heal powder. That's going to be a little bitter, but that's okay. Um, I want to say there's an item there, too. Yes. So you got to smash one of these rocks to be able to access this one. And it's a yellow shard. Lovely. Um, as you can see, there's a waterfall right there. And we do not have the HM quite yet to go up waterfalls. So if you want to come back here and get whatever it is that's up there, you absolutely can. Um, all right, and I think we're gonna get to our next little grunt section here. It is quite the climb to get up Mount Coronet. Yes, Ooh, not Pokedex. Um, oh, I actually do want to point this out. Um, the Pokedex in this game, I think I've said this before, but in this game it is based on Pokemon that you have seen, um, not Pokemon that you have caught. So completing the national or completing the Pokedex in this game is just different and easier. Um, I actually really like it. I think that makes more sense, honestly. Um, and you can way uh, it's way easier to kind of unlock the perks of completing the Pokedex. <laughs> wow, your first run through a fire red, heart gold, emerald, platinum, and White one was a Nuzlocke. Oh my goodness, dude. You are overachieving. Um, okay. Ooh, we'll send you back in time. A time before you started training. Interesting. Um, so this is great. We can rock smash that Houndour into Oblivion. Um, but a Golbat's not gonna go as well. Let's... I mean, let's just do Static. Static has been a real MVP of this squad. And there you have it. And then another Houndour, hot to go. Can handle this job. Once again. Perfection. Um, I also love how the music stays here. Um, Oh yeah, I needed to grab that item back there. I forgot I was going to rock smash for that item. Um, let's see. Oh my god, Brody. You're telling me, dude. Many, many people feel that way. Golbat. Ah, uh, yes, let's just do breakfast this time. We can use that ancient power. I don't want to use too many. Because it would be nice to have that rock coverage for later. Um, nothing there. 
But as you can see, you can't access that rock um, without rock smashing the rock next to it. Like you can't interact with it because it's on the grid. So you gotta smash that rock so you can talk to this one and get a sunstone. I did not realize that was a sunstone right there. That's very important. Um, if, especially if you want to use like a blossom or something. Very cool. Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, we're, we're going to get Air Slash, don't you worry. Um, yes. And here we get to pop back out here. It's not quite as blizzard conditions. The visibility is a little better. Um, I know that there are some grunts in here and some items. I think one grunt in particular is guarding, like, something in the middle that you cannot yet access. I actually don't remember what it is, if I'm being honest. Um, but I want to fight all the grunts here before they go away. Um, there we go. Poison jab. That's what I was talking about. So we are actually going to get rid of revenge. Um, because one, it is the only move we can get rid of because the other three are HMs. And two... Uh, because we still have um, some fighting type stab with Rock Smash. And while Revenge can be a much more powerful attack than Rock Smash, Rock Smash will do us for the time being. We will get a better Rock move on Toxicroak later. Don't you worry. Um, and by Rock move, I mean fighting move. All right. I imagine there's an item there. Oh, there's not. Glad I checked. Let's see. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was confused because it said oddity, but you meant oddish. Um, all right. These are so hard to see sometimes. Look, there's a there's a rock climb spot right there, but the angle makes it really hard to see it um, when it's like sloping down like that. Um, there were many times as a kid I had no idea there was a rock climb thing there, and I'm like, how do I get out of here? Um, so here, let me smash some of these ropes. See, is this an item? It is, which annoys me. Excuse me. Perfect. A heal powder. Okay. You really gotta make sure in this game specifically that you talk to all the rocks so you don't miss any, so you don't miss any items. It really is. This game, I feel like more than any other Pokemon game is the one where you talk to the most rocks. Anyway, here's this Galactic guy. He says, yeah, right, you're absolutely right. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a lowly grunt like me without any Pokemon. And he's blocking that little area. And if I'm going to be honest, like I said, don't remember what it leads to. Um, oddity that evolves into Gloomity and then Velocity. You're so right. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so we can make our way back... Okay. Wow, again, talking to rocks all over the place. And we can go around the bend here and fight all of these grunts. Um, oh, I didn't really want to talk. start with Toxicroak, but that's okay. Easy peasy. Um, Croagunk, once again, we don't want dry skin, so we will just do Karen. Oh, actually, that's a bad idea. Um, okay, nasty plot. We're, we are fine with that. Easy peasy. And then Stunky. Um, we can stay in with Karen. No biggie. We'll just fire fang these fools. Love to see it. Oh, what's my favorite song that I've made? Oh my gosh. That is a very difficult question. Um... One 
that I say a lot is See You Later, which is the title track of one of my EPs. Um, I love that song, kind of very epic, sad song. Um, there is also Claws, which is the lead track off of the Ill-Equipped EP. Um, I really like that one. It's one of my heavier songs. Um, those two stick out to me. See You Later and Claws. I mean, I, you know, I tend to, um, have a soft spot, soft spot for all of my songs. Um, but I love those in particular. Um, and one that I know a lot of the Pokemon audience here will enjoy. I did a cover of the final battle theme from, uh, whatchamacallit, gold, crystal, gold, silver, and crystal. I called it red. Um, and I really like that song. I think it's a cool cover and kind of like a different kind of video game cover that you might not hear usually. It sounds a little different than what some of the other people that do that thing are doing. Um, so yeah, maybe those, but a tons more. The most recent songs I just released were Taylor Swift covers, which I thought were really fun and cool. Um, so everything, I guess. But if I had to pick two, it would probably be Claws and See You Later. Those are probably two of the more important songs to me. I, I appreciate that so much. I really, really do. <laughs> For about a week, hey, that's incredible. I love that so much. Thank you for doing that. Um, and yeah, I always kind of hoped that, um, people that tune in, um, for the gaming stuff could tune in for, um, the music stuff. And I've loved being able to spend so much time on the gaming side. Um, but I want to make sure I'm not, uh, oh, there's an item right there. I want to make sure that I'm not neglecting my music, um, and I think I'm going to have some nice breaks here from my work. I work in a school. Um, so I'm hoping that can be a good time for me to make some progress on some songs that I've already started. Um, and I feel pretty good about it. I mean, I've done so much writing. I'm always writing. I just can't help but write. I feel like it's probably my favorite part of the process. I it's so funny because I'm trying to like teach myself how to record but I just don't like it because it's hard <laughs> and I just can never make it sound exactly how I want to but I'm kind of doing the endeavor on my own for affordability's sake um, and yeah it can just be tough but I appreciate you saying that I appreciate you saying um, nice things about my music I Work hard, work hard on it and love it a lot. Because I do have, I do have one EP brewing, um, kind of in its later stages. I don't want to, you know, tell tales out of school as to when it will be released, but I have an idea generally in my head. Um, and then I specifically wrote something else recently that I would love to work on next after that. Um, but we will see. Gosh, guys. Oof. They have such cool, like, that great, like, epic piano stuff going on in this game. Um, Alright, we'll just do Autumn. <laughs> New EP leak? Hey. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's not ready yet. Um, but I have most of it recorded. Um, I do still have some other things to record, which has been kind of the challenge lately. Um, just because um, that recording is going to be a little more time and resource intensive um, than I can give right now. Uh, but I should have some good time off to get that done, which I'm excited about. And go back. We'll just go to static. Um, but yeah, I really, I really want to talk more about the EP that I'm writing right now. Um, 
but I don't want to yet. Because I think it's so cool and so kind of like unique. Um, okay, I got this poison on Torterra, but I'm not that worried about it. I'll heal it in a second. Because we are about to get to some of the main, the, the big stuff that happens here in um, Pokemon Platinum story-wise. So I am jazzed up, baby. Um, and we still have a good amount of time. We should be able to get through it, or get through a lot of it tonight. Um, Crowagunk. We'll do breakfast here. Um, oh, I forgot about, completely forgot about Fly. Murkrow. This is fine. Yeah, these, I mean, these grunts, it's just a lot of the same Pokemon we've seen so far. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Okay, let's, let's take some time to heal the squad. Um, I need a full heal here on Terra. Okay, I'm actually going to be brave here. There's really not much damage taken off of my other Pokemon. I'm just going to leave them how they are. Um, all right, so now we step out to the Spear Pillar. Listen to this music. Ooh, that is some epic final music right there, baby. Oh, so good, okay. So we're gonna fight these two grunts. It's gonna be a nice little double battle. And I'm excited for you to see the rest of the Spear Pillar. Oh, it's so cool. So cool. I can't decide on my volume. Yes, that's what I want. Oh, and this is great for an earthquake from Torterra. Let's just fly out of the way. Love to see it. Yeah, and these, these grunts aren't, they ain't nothing, baby. We're just wiping them out easy. Um, and I can just razor leaf you because that fly is going to come down and kill the crow gunk. Love to see it. And then I'll, I'll just do the Mega Drain. Um, easy peasy. Return for the win. Boom. All right. We are not capable of slowing you. We will let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. So as you can see, Spear Pillar here is absolutely so sick. Um, this is kind of like the final area here. It's at the summit of Mount Coronet, and it is here where we, where we will meet our destiny. And I'm going to save the game because we have some big fights coming up. Because join it absolutely is. Your instincts are correct. Let's start with Karen. All right, so here's Jupiter and Mars. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to get through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember, and I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Oh, but here's our boy, GCG. He says, hold on one second. Don't start the party without me. We have an awesome team up duffel battle with our rival against Jupiter and Mars. It's so cool. I love it. The only issue is his move selection is so deeply terrible. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. This is why we wanted to start with Houndoom because we have the double bronze ore here. Um, and as we've discussed, you really gotta hit these boys with fire. Really gotta hit them with fire. And his Munchlax, ooh, Munchlax. So our rival has been doing some rare Pokemon hunting for sure. Um, and it just likes to use stockpile. Stockpile and spit up and Frickin' whatever. And here, Jupiter's got the Skun Tank. The issue is that Bronzor put up a light screen, um, so our Fire Blast is not going to be as effective. I just went with Fire Bang, yeah. 
I don't think Fire Blast would have killed it either. Um, if they can both hit the Munchlax, that would be great. Yes, I love that for us. Excuse me. Because this little guy is not a Snorlax, so he's not doing super well. Ooh, nice paralysis. That'll kill Bronzor. We're good to go there. Yes, please. Kill Munchlax. Yes. Oh, no. Lives another day. Another turn, rather. And here's Perugly. Um, I'm just gonna keep Houndoom in. Um... I can use Bite. Oh, no, Perugly's really fast. I forgot about that. Perugly is so deceptively fast. Faster than our Houndu. And that's crazy, honestly. Um, because Houndu is a very fast Pokemon. Oh my goodness, that did so much. Our rival has really been doing those honey trees. Because both of these, both of his Pokemon, Munchlax, Munchlax and Heracross, are both ones that you find via honey trees. Um, in fact, I'm going to turn in Hot to Go here. Um, there we go. Oh, yes! Thank you, Heracross! Wow, I was really ragging on our rival's move selection, but not only did it use the super effective Brick Break against Perugly, we were able to pulverize that light screen, baby. Yes, I spoke too soon. That was wonderful. And we're going to eat that poison jab. Oh, not that well. Uh, okay, so Hot the Go is probably going to go down here. That is okay. Um, yes. Oh my gosh, Heracross is super weak to flying moves too. So it's going to be Static's time to shine. Um, that, finally a berry win, man. Like, oh. Heracross pulling out the close combat, baby. Oh, that HP bar. Again, there's a reason why, we, why we're why we using speed up a lot in some of these battles. Oh no. I always forget that Skuntank knows Flamethrower. There's a reason we've been using speed up a lot in these battles. Health bar goes down notoriously fast. Er, sorry, notoriously slow. Pardon me. And then he's got a Star Raptor. We're, he's probably going to break out a close combat with Star Raptor as well. Um, oh, interesting choice. Seeing as I brought Magnezone specifically to hit the Golbat. Um, and Golbat's going to try to stall us. But, uh, oh my goodness. So the reason I picked Thunder there was because um, Discharge would have hit these are uh, rival star after as well. Um, okay, there we go. There's his Infernape. I don't think we've seen Infernape yet, though. So that's kind of a s exciting. Or have we? Uh, no, we have. Um, in the Cantilave, um battle. Of course, Sludge Bomb cannot hit Magnazone. Magnazone has been clutch for us, man. Hmm. Continues to be with that thunder. All right. Mars and Jupiter down. Sheesh, I should have done the fighting myself. Um, all right, so now GCG, our, our good friend and rival, he says, my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher, but you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. SCG, I'll help you with this. Ah. Oh. He gives us a little heal. Ah, so now our team is fully healed going into this final section. So this is some really important stuff and I'm just gonna kind of talk us through this because I love this portion of the story. Cyrus, 
Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all will end and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. So now, Cyrus is using the power of the red chains to wrangle Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and master of time, and Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and master of space and dimensions. These are our two diamond and pearl Pokemon. And as you can see, he's got the portal opening up. The portals, pardon me. The music is slowing down. There's Dialga, and there's Palkia. Ooh, I love how the text slows down when he calls them. I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia, shaping this world as a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control, you will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. But he did not foresee our friends, the Lake Guardians, coming up to the summit of Mount Coronet. We had Uxi, we had Azelf, or Mesprit rather, and now we have Azelf, and they are here at the top of Mount Coronet. Here to aid the legendary Pokemon. I should have expected as much. Uxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh, pathetic and worse, worthless. It takes the three of them, three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, SCG, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away from you, from your Pokemon, from those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged? Oh my goodness, something's coming. What is it? <sighs> Seems like something doesn't like what Cyrus is doing. Interesting, he says. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. I, Cyrus, won't have any more interfere. That was a huge jump scare for me as a kid. It was crazy. <laughs> Cynthia, no! Ooh. All right. This episode might run a little long tonight, guys. I'm excited. Ooh, that did make every kid poo themselves. You are so right about that, Brody. And here's Mesprit. Hello, Mesprit. Mesprit's kind of the leader of the trio. De facto leader. Um, so Cynthia's here. She's saying, I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Instantly. There was one, uh, apparently rather, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga or Palkia but also one whose name was never to be spoken, Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. Excuse me. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. 
If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. Cynthia. Born ready, baby. Born ready. So now we are going into the portal to enter the distortion world. This was not an area that was in Diamond and Pearl. This is a Platinum exclusive, and it is sick. It's awesome. This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. Let's find Giratina. We need it to stop the spreading distortion at the Spear Pillar. That was Giratina. We have to hurry. Ooh, guys. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much right, Brody. So let me save our game. Um, perfection. So here we are in the distortion world. Um, as you can see, we can kind of hop over here. Things are kind of weird. It's kind of like you're in space. Um, things are not quite as they seem. We can hop over here to kind of like this dead end. Nothing's really going on. And as we go, we're gonna see more weird stuff. Um, and Cynthia says, This rock slab, it appears to move if you step on a certain spot. And as you can see there, right in the middle, that's going to take us to a lower level. Um, and there's going to be a lot of this navigating the distortion world. And it really, you can kind of see the 3D effects. We talked about it in the Candle of Gym. You can really see the 3D of the DS coming to life here in the distortion world. It should be. Um, so Cynthia is kind of helping us through this, um, as we navigate and we have no need for a repel. There are no Pokemon here. Um, ooh. So here is our first, oop, there's Mesprit. Seems like Mesprit's telling us to step on that little spot. And here is our first instance of weirdness here in the distortion world. I love this because you're still kind of on like that grid system of a regular Pokemon game, so it doesn't quite look right. <laughs> but we are like on the side of this little thing. And like, you kind of have to go like down to get off of it. And then the camera shifts back to normal. This is stuff that happens in the distortion world. It seems so simple, but this was so cool. <laughs> it was so cool when this game came out. I loved it so much. Um, let's see. Yeah, pretty much ready. Uh, and you can see Cynthia down there a little bit. We gotta get over to her. And you might have to forgive me a little bit here and there, as I'm not always gonna know how to navigate here. The distortion world is easy enough to navigate, but... Yeah, sometimes I forget. Like, there, that was a dead end. So I'm pretty sure we just gotta go straight across here oh okay good yeah there we go and this will take us to another weird little spot where we can hop up here oh we get to have this little convo with cynthia on the side the legend of giratina has been all but forgotten but to a few the legend told of a world on the other side of ours this world why does this world exist why is giratina here all alone there's so much that can't be explained but we have things to do let's split up we have to find the right way and essentially, Giratina was banished to the Distortion World by an even more powerful Pokemon, say a god-like Pokemon. There are many, many parallels to the actual story of God and the Devil, with the Pokemon that banished Giratina and Giratina itself being pretty much the Devil. Pretty much the Devil. Um, all right. So now we gotta keep navigating this. Um, I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> Again, so sorry, I never quite remember the way through here. Um, okay, that doesn't lead anywhere. Okay. 
GPS. I was about to say, this goes down. Yes, because we want to go, we want to hit this middle one. Ooh, and go to a whole nother level. Ah, and now we have things appearing out of nowhere. Ooh, perfect. Ah, and here's Cyrus. The shadowy Pokemon isn't here. It's abandoned me here, then disappeared somewhere farther down. Was it content merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? We'll say yes. He says if it's true, you've impressed me. Genes can be considered the blueprints of all life forms. That includes human and Pokemon alike. Genes are contained in a DNA strand. A DNA strand consists of two chains of opposing characteristics in a spiral. If one of the chains were to be broken, the other could replicate it. One or the other cannot exist without its opposite. Do you understand where I'm going with this? This is a bizarre world. Time doesn't flow. Space isn't stable. Only that shadowy Pokemon lives here. This world is the opposite of our world, our world I wish to change. It is like the two chains composing of DNA. The two worlds must be balancing each other to remain in existence. One without the other cannot exist. Ooh, the shadowy Pokemon must play a role, and he's saying that's why it brought him here. I was trying to change the world, and he disturbed it, and it revealed itself. But that is all irrelevant. What matters is defeating that Pokemon and making this world disappear. I won't allow it to interfere with me again. With it gone, neither world will be stable to revert to its original state. Whew. Oh, I know. There's a lot of science here in Pokemon Platinum. So we can hop over here. Um, let's see. Am I going to the right area? We'll find out. That's not the way. Okay. Okay, I think this can take us to our next area. Whew. Baby. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's keep rolling. Um, we can make it through here. We have some areas with these trees that are kind of weird. Ah, yes, of course. So, Uxie is telling us that we have to put that rock down in that hole. Um, it's kind of not always completely obvious, but that's what we got to do. Um, so, there it goes down. And now we have to get two other rocks. Um, and we can... Yes, we can just scoot right over here. Pretty sure there's a rock. Yes, there's a rock right there. Mes Mesprit can tell us to do this one. Ah, yes. So they don't tell you exactly. They just kind of motion toward it. But in hindsight, you can really see that that's what they want you to do. And we are eventually going to push a third rock down, but we kind of have to make our way all the way around the bend here before we can do that. And that is where we're going to see some really cool stuff. Um... This is the portion, the kind of moving forest, where the trees and the rocks kind of vanish and reappear. And you, ooh, there's Giratina again. And there they go, there are those trees disappearing. You can kind of just go around the outer edge and that'll get you through where you need to go. It's so freaking cool, man. Um, oop, there's Cyrus. All right. Then we can work our way this way. No, not quite. Yes. Ah, yes, this should be perfect. Oh, this is back where we started. Okay. Maybe I went the wrong way. Oh, gosh, guys. There we go. Yes, this is back down to where the, the rocks were. Okay, so we did the middle one. We did that one. Okay, so I gotta get to that one. So I think I went the wrong way somewhere. 
Um, the distortion world can be kind of annoying <laughs> that way. Um, but I have to push that rock back, so let's do this first. Lovely. All right, so that's not the way I want to go. We have the disappearing forest. We pop all around the outside here. How did I make it over there? Oh boy, I don't remember. Oh no, we're gonna have issues here, kids. No, this is where I need to go. So this is where I went last time. I think I must have just went to the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, let's try that. Perfect, okay. This looks better. Yes, because there's Cyrus and he kind of goes that way. Oh gosh, guys, this is just peak right here. Um, ooh, more Giratina. Whenever you see Giratina, you know you're doing something right. And guys, we are about to get to one of the most iconic sections of the Distortion World. As you can see, I'm completely upside down. We can hop on this pond, I guess, even though we are on the ceiling. And now you can descend a rising waterfall. And this is just... This is just so cool. This is like the image of the distortion world when you descend the rising waterfall. It's so cool. I love it so much. And that is how you know you are kind of approaching the end of this area. And yes, here is how you get to that final strength rock I was talking about. All right, Ezelf. We're gonna push that rock down. Lovely. All right. So now we can go down here um, because this is where we're going to be able to push those rocks that we had into the correct hole. As you can see, Mesprit is sitting by that one. So we are going to push it over there. Nothing too crazy. And with that, Mesprit is satisfied. And we can head here to do what we need to do for Uxie. Oopsie. And Uxie flies off. And finally, we can do what we need to do for Azelf and put that stone right there. And with that, we will be able to go to the area we need to go to. And this is when Cynthia is saying, um, Cynthia kind of gives us the clues for that little strength quest. But now that we have deciphered it, this platform appears and we can descend down to where Cyrus is. This is it. Giratina is up ahead. And with that, I'm saving the game. Because I have anxiety. <sighs> what do we want to start with? Okay, I know what he starts with. We're going to start with Pikachu. <sighs> Let's do it. So you were already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Fight somewhere, find somewhere you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. This guy sounds terrible. So we're going to interfere. I won't lose. Not to that shadowy Pokemon, not in any worthless world. 
And this is our final time hearing that absolute fire Cyrus theme, baby. This is the final stand. And his team is way better. Um, let's see, I gotta turn it down just a little bit. Ooh, Thunderfang, the coverage from Houndoom. Don't do half. Oh my gosh, that did way more than it should have. But I'm hoping this Surf will do the trick. It is quite powerful from a Vaporeon, and Houndoom is not bulky, but it holds on! You are kidding me, does he have potions? Okay, good, he does. I gambled correctly there. Um, okay. That's why you keep Quick Attack, baby. That's why you keep Quick Attack. Yes. Awesome. All right, Gyarados. Easy peasy. That's why you're here, Static. Let's roll. Right. We can tank that Intimidate very well, because Static only uses special attack. Gyarados has Earthquake, though. Oh, no. And like everyone pointed out to me, Sturdy does not work the way <laughs> that it works in other gens. Oh no, that's okay. Um, because I was saying how sturdy would prevent that exact thing from happening, um, where we couldn't get one shot by the four times effective earthquake. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to get a little creative here. Um, ah, uh, yes, we got Water Absorb. Let's use our full restore on Autumn. And then we can use a Revive on Static. Um, oh, thank you, Brody. I appreciate you. Um, let's go. I mean, Gyarados has wicked coverage, man. Um, but I'm going to go with autumn and hopefully we can get that leech seed off i know it has ice fang which we hate to see okay good um that is fine i'll let autumn hang in and we'll just try to get a miss or something which we don't get that's fine um that ice fang is of course quad effective against our torterra this, this, um, this Cyrus fight, this Cyrus fight is tough. Um, and this Gyarados in particular can be pretty brutal. Um, really glad to see that we outspeed here with breakfast. Ancient power does way less than I would like, though. I'm hoping, okay, Ice Fang doesn't do too terribly much. Um, all right, so my plan here is we're going to use Fly. And that's going to give us an extra turn of Leech Seed damage. Oh no. Okay, good. We hold on from the Giga Impact. Perfect. And Return will knock it out. That's wonderful. So Gyarados was an obstacle. Having it no Earthquake just annihilates Magnezone. There's really not much you can do there. Um, here we have Weavile. And this is a really good thing that we still have a fighting move on Toxicroak. Because Weavile is the new, for Generation 4, evolved form of Sneasel. I don't really like Weavile. Um, I have never really liked Weavile. I thought Sneasel was good as it was. It didn't need an evolution. And Weavile's cool, but I don't think it's, like, that much better design-wise, so... I definitely prefer regular old Sneasel, especially as a Gen 2 person. Um, ah, fake out. Annoying. Ice Punch should not kill Hot To Go. Okay, good. Um, Rock Smash is probably not going to kill Weavile either, either, even though it is four times super effective. We are happy to get the defense drop there. Um, I'm actually going to... Um, let me just try this. 
Okay, we can't outpace that. Oh, I can't run, sorry. Um, we can't outpace that. I'm gonna let... I'm gonna let breakfast take the fall here. And that's fine. Some of the later, later game fights in this game are pretty tough. And here, Houndoom should be able to carry the day. Because Weavile is still a an ice type, after all. Oh, no. That's real bad. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, so as long as we can survive okay that is fine i'm going to use this opportunity to revive some party members i will revive karen and i will revive breakfast because breakfast was fast perfect and here hot to go is going to get the opportunity to knock out this weavile implying that nothing stupid happens on this ice punch good <laughs> Perfect. Weavile goes down. Cyrus is tough. I know I said that earlier, but it's like... It's like an unreasonable <laughs> difficulty spike here. Um, Honchcrow is fine. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to revive Magnezone. Um, because it's just going to annihilate us here especially with that psychic. That is one thing that you will find in the Generation 4 games is that they... Oh, it has Heat Wave. <laughs> As I was saying, there's way better type coverage in these games. Gosh, dang it, man. Way better type coverage. Um, oh, gosh. It used Psychic, and it has Heat Wave. Um, let's see what Karen can do. Let's see if I can get a Fire Blast off. And I can. I love that. But Drill Peck will take me out, man. Okay. I am thinking an Ancient Power will do it. But let's see. Okay, good. Ooh, and I got the Omni Boost. That's big. Mmm. And I'm going to have... Oh, my gosh. Oh. One more Pokemon left is Crobat. And honestly, that Omni Boost might be what saves me here. We might be faster now. We're still not... Oh, but we tank it. And we have one more full restore. Okay. Okay, that move doing that little damage makes me think we'll use our last full restore. That makes me think we can survive here. All right, we'll let that go. Yes, even if we get poisoned again. Yeah, that did just did not do that much damage. So we're good. We'll tank that. Ancient power. And we win. At least I think. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was a nail biter, gang. Oh my lord. But this next part, it just gets... It gets heavy. What of my new world, of my new galaxy? Was this all a dream to be swept away by your reality? Cyrus has some stuff to say here. Don't think that you can defeat or capture that Pokemon. This bizarre world is none other than that Pokemon itself. Capturing it or defeating it will make this world disappear. Very well, do what you will. Rather than repairing the world, you're going to destroy it for me. Do it. You inherit my legacy. Don't believe his lies. It's not possible that a Pokemon can make the world disappear. The world awaited your birth, not only yours either. 
the, the Pokemon with you, the people close to you. All the Pokemon and people were born because they have a part in the world. I'm convinced of that. Giratina won't go out of existence. This distortion world won't disappear. Our world won't disappear either. Let's go meet Giratina. Whew. So Cynthia gives us a well-earned heal here. And here is where we get to meet Giratina. Oh, there's nothing to fear, says Cynthia. All right. So that was Cynthia basically telling us that we're allowed to catch Giratina. And here we go. This part's so cool. There it flies. The steps appear. We step up. It flies up. And finally... It descends... to meet us. Giratina is quietly eyeing SCG. And we have this really cool music. Ooh, look at that thing. That is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Look how cool it is. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Um, but, um, we, I'm just gonna use our Master Ball on it. <laughs> um, there we go. And that's, uh, we caught Giratina! Hooray! Hooray! Um, so that's that. Um, we can check out Giratina later. The renegade Pokemon, it was banished for its violence. It silently gazed upon the old world from the distortion world. Give a nickname to Giratina. Oh my gosh! Does anybody want to give Giratina a nickname? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I mean, I want to give it a nickname. Um, I will call this Giratina, um, <laughs> you know what, it's so funny, the last thing Brody said was GTG, I think that's a fun name for a Giratina. Um, so, now Cynthia steps up, Giratina seems to have understood us, that Pokemon, that shadowy Pokemon was captured, says Cyrus. Your doing so means this irrational world will remain in existence? Does that make it impossible for me to create a new world? Even if I made new red chains, the new world can't be made. Why? What compels you to protect the two worlds? Is spirit, a vague and incomplete thing, so important to you? Cynthia. The places we are born, the time we spend living, the languages we speak, we are all different, but the presence of Pokémon unites us. We share our lives with our Pokémon, and our happiness grows as we all become greater than we were, we were alone. That is why we can battle and trade with anyone we choose. Silence! Enough of your blathering. That's how you justify spirit as something worthwhile. That is merely humans hoping, deluding themselves that they are happy and safe. The emotions roiling inside me, rage, hatred, frustration. These ugly emotions arise because of my own incomplete spirit. Ooh, we see the fragile man he is here. Enough, we will never see eye to eye. This I promise you, I will break the secrets of the world. With that knowledge, I will create my complete and perfect world. One day, you will awaken to a world of my creation. A world without spirit. Period. And off he goes. Bitter, bitter end. Oh, Cyrus, it's a sad character, honestly. He's so deluded that he can never understand humanity. Since there is sadness, we can feel joy. When there is anger, compassion is born. Let's go back home. <sighs> so, Cynthia is saying that Giratina has a link to the other side. We're going to save a lot of data here. 
Um, we will go back to the other side, the real world, when we return, <laughs> because I am going way later than I usually do. Thank you so much, guys. This has been so fun. I love this part of this game. This is one of my favorite parts of gaming, like in any game ever. So I really appreciate you being here with me tonight. It has been an honor and a pleasure to share this with you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Peace out, kids.